Do I look tired? Hello. Oh. Graham's there. I do indeed look tired. Am I? I am knackered after today. Oh my god, I am so tired. What? I want to record this haul. My hair is a mess. Uh, only my eyes are as dark as the night. Basically. But we are going to continue. I'm talking hair colors with my cousin in case you are wondering. Um, if I look at my watch. I sent her like a yoke of all different kind of light brown shades. Medium brown and dark brown. And I was like ooh the cinnamon one looks nice. She's saying amber but we'll see. Also ignore this please. It's really bloody annoying. So, ignore this. We're going to get into it. We have stuff from many, many different shops. So we do. Um, I am just going to take my watch off because if not, I am going to keep getting distracted and I am going to want to keep looking at it. So, now ignore the tan line. I have massive tan lines right now where my rings are and where... My watch does be. I was hoping this week it'd be like super sunny so I could sit out my back garden and even this out. 14th, is it today? But yeah, uh, 8th. But yeah, sadly, that is not going to happen. Okay. So, I am going to try on all this stuff. I'm just not going to try it on today. I'm going to try them on on Saturday. Um, just because I'm... Really, I'm already in my pajamas as you can tell, but I'm also just absolutely shattered. Don't have the energy to try all these on, and I'd rather have the energy to give you my honest opinion on everything that I got. Um, same with Graham. Graham got a few pieces of clothing, so he's gonna wait till Saturday to try on his bits to show you. And yeah, so at the end of this, there'll be a try on. Um, I promise there will be this time. I know the Sheen one, there wasn't a technical try on. But I will talk you through. I would have talked you through all the sheen stuff anyway. So you would have seen that. But anyway. Whoop, going backwards on the chair. I'll do yours clothing first. Because the dress is there. So. I have. On the 17th of June. I have a hen party to go to. It is afternoon tea for my Auntie B. There's going to be a good few of us going. And I was supposed to wear. I don't know if you can see it in the background. Okay, so it's this blue dress right here. I was supposed to wear, it would have been a dress I wore for my nephew's confirmation. And originally it was only for the afternoon tea, but then it was so nice for the confirmation that I decided to wear that. But they're like, oh, now I can't wear it for the afternoon tea because like people seen me in pictures in it and I really don't want to be looking like one of those people that repeats dresses. I'm just not. I don't mind repeating outfits for like if you're going out, on like a generic night out or going out shopping or just hanging out with people. I don't mind repeating outfits. But for big family events, I don't like repeating outfits. So even though everyone, and I mean like Graham, Susan, my ma, Claire, were all telling me, just wear your blue dress, you'll be fine. Don't worry, don't worry. Um, I just couldn't. So went into yours. There's two dresses, a beautiful green one that I would have had to have gotten tacked closed because it was like one of these fold over ones and um, which I absolutely adored I did adore that green one and I felt great in it but again I would have to tack it or I'd be there for the night you know constantly fixing it so I would plus like the only other reason I wanted it is because it would go with a theme like of wearing green so it would because I'm wearing green to the wedding and um, but you can't really do that specific dress that I had up too much and um, like as in it's not it's not a multi-use dress like the one I did get so the one I got is this beautiful pink with loads of little white flowers all over it which I think is gorgeous as is and there's like little they're just they're pretty it goes in on the arm there is this beautiful back design which I think is gorgeous and the back the waist kind of the back part of it is elastic which again is really really pretty the arms have your elastic in it which is really nice because I'm sure you could probably pull it down but obviously like I'm keeping it up like this but it's a nice length absolutely love the length of it it goes to just above the knee kind of area like it's a really nice length I have my little white shorts to go on the knee that I got off Shein that I'll be wearing 
and there's a pair of runners that I got in pennies today that I'm wearing with it. This has to go into the Euros clothing bag because I'm not allowed to get a filthy before the 17th. And then since we have the hen, I also have the wedding. The wedding is July 7th and I have the dress on the way. I have a pair of earrings for it on the way. Um, I think I still have the jewellery. I'm not too sure if I'm wearing that jewellery, if that jewellery goes with it. But jewellery is easy enough to get because you can just pick up anything random in pennies and it'll be grand for the day. But I couldn't find heels and pennies. I was going for black ones um, just because they're very generic colour, kind of go with everything. But the first pair I picked up wouldn't go around the ankle, the strap. And the second pair, the bit that goes over the top of your foot, it was too casual. It looked more like a, um, just like a dinner or, like it didn't look wedding-y, basically. It, it was fancy, but not wedding fancy, if that makes sense. So I went into yours and managed to find these shoes here, which are totes cute. And I tried them on in there. So they do fit, so they do. And they go around the ankle, which is great. I just need to learn how to fasten them on my own because I won't have mother dearest to fasten them for me the morning of the wedding. But they're these beautiful gold heels. Again, these can be put with anything. So they're very multi-use as well. So if I have anything else coming up, I can wear them. I was contemplating wearing them for the hen, but they don't go with the dress. So I was like, okay, no. It's grand. These are definitely for the wedding. So I just need to break them in now. I just need to start wearing them and breaking them in. So I do. So that was the main thing that I went out for and I'm delighted with. Let's see. Now is just going to be a mismatch of just different places. Because the bags and bits are just everywhere. <laughs> At this point in time. They are just everywhere. Okay, I do have the super drug bag, however. So last year, I was out of work. I was out of work for July, no, for August, September, October, and November. So because I was out of work during the really, really hot heat wave season, I ended up having to get proper sun cream because I was like out the garden, I wasn't inside all day. And of course I was burning. My little tush. So I was. So when we went out with my cousin one day, she brought me to Superdrug and showed me what sun cream basically I should be using. And she gave me one. It is in my bag for work. And it's the Soleil by Superdrug. And it is a spray. So it's quick drying, non-greasy, dermatologically approved. It's clear, protect, UVA, ultra. It's basically, it's, an, it's a transparent sun spray. It has advanced UVA, UVB protection and it's water resistant. Now the one I have in my bag is only 20 SPF. Because I didn't have this one which is the 50 SPF. Which is even better because when I was in work I felt like I had to apply the 20 FPS quite often. Because I was afraid I was going to burn because it wasn't as strong and as the one on my face. I was applying the one on my face like every hour. Uh, which is what you're meant to do, but the one on my skin, like my arms, chest and legs, I felt like I was applying a lot more because I was scared because it was only 20 FPS. So I upped it and I got to 50. So I'm delighted with that now. I also got another face one. This time I got the sensitive skin one because what I'm feeling with the other one is, it's not that my skin is getting irritated, but my eyes are. So I'm hoping this might... Like, I won't even put it near my eyes. Like, I won't put it on my eyelids. Like, I'll literally just kind of go around. But yet, it's still getting to my eyes, which is really annoying. So, I'm hoping this one, which is the exact same as the spray, but a lotion. Again, 50 SPF, same brand. But this one is anti-aging, and it also is for sensitive skin. And then, because I have an after sun lotion to put on, which obviously I haven't been doing because, you know, that's me. I'm an idiot. I will. I decided to get a sensitive after sun face serum with uh, pro vitamin B5 and aloe vera. It's rebalancing and calming and it has an aqua gel formula. 24 hour hydration, dermatologically tested and fragrance free. And obviously cruelty free. I just read that on the back. So I got all them in Superdrug because we're in summer. It's, a fish, it's June, like we're officially in summer now. I know the weather hasn't wasn't great today 
But that doesn't mean it's not going to go and swoop back around and become absolutely roasting again. Guarantee when I go back to work (laughs) on friggin' Thursday, next week on Thursday, it's going to be heat wave again because that's just what happens to me. But yeah, like I want to make sure I'm equipped, basically. Okay. I don't know where the actual bag is, but we did go to the sweet shop. When I get to the bag, I'll show you. Got little Twinkies. I'm saving mine for tomorrow because it's my chill day. I am going to be doing a pamper. I'm going to be in crap. Do I care? No. Why? Because I don't get chill days. <laughs> my weekends tend to be recently stuff going on the whole time. And I'm like, I want a day where I can just pamper and chill and watch some telly. Is what I want and eat some junk food. Basically. Okay. Of course I stopped on the way home in Butler's Chocolates. Yes, there is one in Bray. Do I care that I stopped and grabbed these? No, I really don't. Got a little chocolate lollipop. It's a teddy bear for one fifty. It's called Coco Cubs. So freaking cute. So that's another treat for me for tomorrow. I've got loads of little treats for me tomorrow. I know I ain't bad today. Do I care I'm eating bad tomorrow? I really freaking don't. And then I got this big bag of, bag of goodies. So I mostly got my flakes, but I did get some double chocolates, some milk truffles. Then there's um a cafe mocha and a latte in there to try. So I'm going to be having them tomorrow. You know I am. You know I am. Um, I'm trying to leave the pennies to last because that's like the biggest shop that we did. Okay. Some of the stuff ended up in Graham's bag because it was just easier because there were small bits that we were getting. Um, so I'm going to try and take them out now. Also, my makeup is still in here, which I completely forgot about. Well, when I say my makeup... I brought a mascara, concealer, lipstick, and my eyeliner just in case I needed them. So I did. Which, yes, I know is a lot, but still. Here's the sweets. Okay, I'm gonna put this down for a minute. Okay, so that this is where we got the um, the Twinkies. I just went in and got like a little pick and mix of jellies. I don't know if you can see. There's basically, there's the jelly rings, little frogs, pig faces. There is some fudge in there somewhere for Graham. And yeah, that's pretty much all I got. But, got some jellies. Yeah. Probably, it's probably my ma's. Um, sorry, package. It's probably my ma's, but I'll open it just in case. Is it small? Yeah, it's just my mask. Kimonos. I'll bring it down to her in a minute. Um, was also in the Disney shop looking around and... I don't know why you tried to pause that, by the way. <laughs> Gamer logic. Graham tried to pause Fortnite. Um, we're also in the Disney shop. I was offered one of the teddies for like fourteen ninety. Graham stopped me. He was very good. He stopped me from buying it because I did not need it. I was only going to buy it because it was on sale. I didn't actually want it. But anyhow... They did have a bit of a sale on some of the stuff. And for those who don't know, I have a denim a denim jacket hanging on my door at the moment that I am currently turning into like a pin jacket. So I've been buying the little lounge fly pins, uh, mystery pins from GameStop and putting them on. And then there's like other pins I'd gotten like from Comic Cons or just generic ones I'd gotten throughout the year. So I got two new ones for it. So for three quid, I got this really, really cute Pirates Caribbean one. Like, look how cool that one is. And then for 4 20 and hands down grabbed this the second I saw it. Graham was like, look! And I was like, oh my god, I have to get that. I don't care. 4 20 Look at this. Oh my god. I don't you just can't really it's not focusing on it properly, but oh my god. It is literally yeah, I don't know why it doesn't want to focus on it, but anyhow. It's Milo from Atlantis with the ship and everything. Hands down, one of my favourite Disney movies of all time. 
my dog is named after this fella right here. This is who my doggy is named after, which I love. But yeah, I managed to get a glances pin. Very hard to get a glances stuff. Delighted I was able to. Went into my crystal shop, ended up having a really nice conversation with the chap that works there. He was so sweet because I was going to go upstairs and make up my own little bag. Um, I have two hanging on my wall already. I love these little bags. They're, they're just amazing. But anyway, I went to go upstairs and get my own little bag made up. But I saw that they had the wall with loads of like pre-made ones. And I remembered getting one and it was for Scorpio. So I have my star sign one. And I was like, oh, I wonder what ones they have made up already. Like, are they, do they have ones that I'm looking for? And I managed to find one for migraines and headaches. So when I picked up that one, he was like, oh, please don't tell me that's for you. And I was like, yeah, sadly. He was like, oh, no, that's horrible. I'm so sorry. Like, he was so sweet. And I was, like, explaining. I get them because of the I work with kids and they're loud. And how, like, I just suffer with migraines so much. So he's like, oh, no. <laughs> so for five euro, I was able to get this little blue bag full of, like, little crystals to help with my migraines so I can carry this around with me. But then I also decided to pick up another one because the other thing I wanted was the one to kind of kind of push me a bit more with my, my weight loss and all. So I managed to find one and it's Courage and Transformation, which I think is pretty cool. I like the sound of that. So I did. I was like, oh, build up your courage a little bit, you know, help you with a bit of a transformation, whether that be mentally or physically. I liked that. I was like, OK, yeah, yeah. So I managed to get this little green bag and it has like loads of like little ones. And they're so freaking cute. I freaking love this bag. So I got myself two new little bags of crystals, which I am so happy with. So I am. Um, we went to Munch Diddly. So we did. Uh, to get some ice cream because I saw this cup and I was like, oh my God, you can get ice cream in it. I was like, I need to. 7 50 you got two scoops. I got a flake and I got some Nutella sauce. I was like, yes please <laughs> so we were like we just decided to walk in and have a look because they'd moved locations so i was like okay we'll have an hour look and we we're looking around and all and just before we, like, we were looking around i saw these cups and i was like oh my god that cup is so freaking cute it reminded me of the ones we used to get when we were on holidays and uh which is exactly what my ma said when i showed her and then graham was like how much like what do you have to get to get the cup he goes oh it's 750 with two scoops a topping and some syrup and i was like oh I'm definitely coming back to get that. So, of course, I did. I got chocolate with unicorn, Nutella, and flakes. So I was like, yes. But then also in that shop. And the chap was very sweet. He actually gave us a 10% discount. So he did. He was so nice to us. Um, so he was. Woo! I need to drop the damn thing. But we managed to get a candle. Like, look how cool a candle in a sweet shop. I mean, come on. But... Like, honest to friggin' God. It's a freaking Twinkie candle. Twinkie. It smells frigging divine. Oh my God. I am lighting this tomorrow. So, I'll post up. You would have seen me post up about this. Because, oh my God, I am I am so excited. So frigging excited to try that. Okay. There is going to be a video on this. Bear in mind. Maybe I won't be doing a try on in this video because uh, we're already nearly at 20 minutes. So we are. It may need to be a separate video. We will see. But, ow, my hand. We were in Dunn's and for those who don't know, Dunn's is doing, I don't know how they're doing it, but they are selling the holy water. They're selling Prime for like three quid a bottle. So we got the ice pop flavor. Just gonna pop these back in Graham's bag because it's easier. We got blue raspberry, tropical punch, and sorry, I got something stuck in me too. Lemon lime. Now I will put a disclaimer in and I'll say it in the other video as well. I have tried Prime. It was the KSI one that I tried. I'll give you my reaction and my thoughts on it in the other video. But I've tried one prime drink before. Okay. 
Now is the main event, which is going to be, I need to keep them out because Graham's going to work. But anyway, which is pennies. This is like, I was going to put them in your bag, but then I was like, no, I'll keep them out because you're going to work tomorrow. But she had them to your bag anyway. I don't know. I'm losing it. So we have pennies. Oh, well, Graham did get a soup, but I'm not going to take it out because it's all nice and neatly packed away. In a little overnight bag, which is very cute. So I am going to leave that. I, I am not going to take that out. But he got a really, really nice grey suit for the wedding. So he's all sorted. Right. Graham got four different t-shirts. So I'll just hold up one and then I'll show you the colours. So it's just basic plain t-shirts. Because we were going to a family barbecue the other day. And it was really warm out and all. And my mom was trying to get help Graham pick his outfit for the day. Like I had mine picked out. But... Graham mostly only had either super nerdy as in non, um, I was going to say relatable, non-suitable t-shirts or ones that were like the type of fabric that you would burn in because it's like it would heat you up. He basically only has one plain t-shirt and that's a purple one, which was in the wash at the time. So he picked up a couple more. So he got this beautiful pink color. This really nice kind of royal blue, I'm going to call it, colour. Then he got this minty green, which I think is going to look really, really nice on him. And this really nice orange colour, which I think is so friggin' cute. The hell are you in? Hey, look, it's Mr. Beast. Um, but yeah, get a t-shirt he got. He didn't really want that in that town. He mostly went out just to have fun, in a sense. Uh, he wanted to get the t-shirts and he wanted to price the suit. They were his two main things. He ended up getting the t-shirts and buying the suit. Not pricing it. So he did pretty damn good. So I am now going to start going through what I got in pennies. Which is obviously the bigger part of the penny shop. Duh. Right. So like anyone. I went in for socks. Who was ringing me? Susan. So, uh, here, you answer and head on recording. I went in for socks and I got socks. The yellow? The ankle ones that I wanted um, because it's about? summer and I don't want to wear the long socks. Yeah, well. So, I then also got some sheet masks. Oh. What? One second. Okay. Sorry about that. Susie called for a little bit of a chat. So we were just chatting away for there for a minute. Anyway, back to pennies. I got some sheet masks because I realised I only had like two there. I have mostly like clay, peel off, cream, all them kind of ones. Barely any sheet masks. So I picked up a few of the 90 cent ones. So I got a moisturising avocado one. A brightening probiotic multi-mineral sheet one. I got a... Invigorating Ginger and Vitamin C Mask and a Revitalizing Marine Algae and I cannot pronounce the, the acid one but the good acid one. I got one of them. Got them. I got a new hair turban because I have two there that are just a complete mess at this stage. They've got rotors and everything stuck to them so they're really annoying me. But anyway, I got a new one and it's a Lilo and Stitch one. It gets a little stitch. So cute. So I picked that up. Running out of space to put stuff. But anyhow. One thing I did want to pick up today that I specifically went out for was pure, plain, just white runners. Because all the runners I have have a colour on them. And it's really annoying because they'd be like blue or pink or black. And I'm like, I need the colour match. And it's really annoying. I do not need to colour match with these. These are literally just pure, pure white. That is one thing I went out to get. And I got them. So I'm as happy. I, I, I happy. They're not going to stay pure white for very long, as you know. So they're going to have to have a little bit of maintenance on them. Okay. Also went through my underwear drawer the other day. Got rid of um some bras and all. And I saw this and I was like, kind of need to get it. It's a two pack and it's in my size. And I was like, it has cheetah print. Like, come on. That is like me. That's my. 
That's my print. <laughs> I'm like, that is me. You know it's me and I'm wearing my cheetah print. Pajamas like. It also comes with a really pretty pink one that I like. But yeah. Cute. I got them. So I might I will have to try out my other pink one. Because I do have a pink one there. Ugh. Just lift up the bag, Sarah. It's a lot easier. Okay, also from the new stitch range. I got these glow skin set, so it's reusable, uh, cleansing cotton pad kind of thing. So you get cotton pads, but these are reusable ones. You just wash them a couple of times and you can use them multiple times. I got my bestie, so to speak. I got my dry shampoo, which is a godsend right now. I normally go for, I think it's peach, I think it is, or tropical. Tropical. I think I go for the tropical one. Um, it's kind of like a peachy colour. But today I went for blush. I want to see what that one smells like because that's going to be interesting. So it is. What else did I get? I've been into my hair care recently. So I got this. This sounds so good. So I think you do this before you shampoo. Yeah. So you get. I got this because a girl was talking to me in Lush about scalp scrubs and all like that. And there was one in there that I wanted. It sounded amazing. Didn't like the smell of it. So I was like, mm, I'll think about it. Found this one. And again, it's a scalp scrub, four euro. Uh, it exfoliates and cleanses the scalp by removing product buildup. So I thought that might be nice to try. Um, so I'm having like a proper pamper day tomorrow. So that's definitely going to be damp my hair, scrub that in, shampoo, hair mask. Love you. Oh, there's another one. There's another face mask in here. Which one is this? Oh, there. A uh, hydrating one. Another face mask. I also got my usual watermelon under eye strips. Absolutely adore these. They're my little tree. I got this little perfume because I was supposed to put it on when I was out there. Because I absolutely stank today because I was so wet. Um, I ended up not using it though. But 350 it's a cute little jasmine rose. I can put that in my bag for work. So I can. What else I got? Oh, I got this. This is the Post Sun Hair Mask. So I might do this one tomorrow. So... Basically, yeah, hydrates and nourishes to restore sun-exposed hair with shea butter and coconut oil. And I've been using coconut oil to shave recently, so I'm loving me a bit of coconut oil. So I am. And then I got their leave-in conditioner as well. Um, helps to nourish and condition the hair. Wheat, uh, wheat protein and, again, coconut oil. Loving coconut oil. So I'm loving that. Because I'm not going to be putting conditioner in tomorrow. I'm going to be doing the scalp scrub, shampoo, the hair mask. And then when I get out, I'll put the leave-in conditioner in. Is my plan. Um, I also got a couple of little bits from the iHeart Revolution. Now, this was only like a euro. It is a lip balm. And it is in the fragrance Strawberry. Cannot wait to try that. I'm trying to get the little bits out of the way first. Another iHeart Revolution product for three fifty, and it is the Tinted Fruit Balms. And this is the coconut one with vitamin E, mango butter and jojoba oil. And it's like a little love heart on top. If you can see that, oh, it's upside down. Basically, it looks like a little love heart on the inside, which is really adorable. Okay, so that's a big item, big item. Have any other little items? One more little item. One more little item. And it is a it's a PS one, so it's just a Penny's brand one. But it is the marshmallow lip scrub because again, been loving a lip scrub lately. I want to try a couple of different ones. So the runners you would have seen me wearing today in the photos, in the vlog, whatever, they're going in the bin because they're absolutely destroyed. They're so old. Pick myself up a new pair. Just generic black little cons style runners. Got a new pair, the other ones are going in the bin. The last two items, which is thank you God, because we're already at 30 minutes. For those who don't know me, I have an obsession with ears. Disney ears. I have a wardrobe door full of them, and there's a few more in my hair box. I just got one for the collection. It's right here. It's a beautiful purple. It's from the Disney 100 collection. They are six fifty, but like, how cute! It has a little tiara. I'm gonna wear this for my birthday, for some photos on the day of my birthday. Like, 
Maybe I'll go into work with this on. What do you think? Wear this these ears for my birthday. Wear this. Has like a little crown. Yeah, yeah. Because I'm in work on my birthday. But I don't mind. But yeah, I got them. They were six fifty. And then the last one, last but certainly not least, Graham and Susan found me. And oh my God, when I saw it, I was like, give me. Because the last one of these I found, or a themed version of this that I found, they were fluffy PJs and I couldn't freaking wear them because my skin gets irritated with fluffy pajamas. Even though it was like a little crop top and shorts, I still got irritated and overheated. I'm backing up because it is a long top. I got, in a nice peach colour, Bratz! So happy. But hang on. It's long, which is brilliant. The back though. The back. Hang up. Tag. Go forward. Look. You have me girls. You have. Where are they? You have Chloe. You've got Jade. You've got Sasha. And then you got Yasmin. Eee! Look at that. Oh my god. So my plan tomorrow after my shower is to jump into this and a little pair of shorts that I have on my box there that kind of are going between my ones of these. Should have picked up a little pair of shorts to go with if I hadn't been thinking, but I wasn't thinking, so I'm an idiot. But anyhow, cannot wait to change into that tomorrow after my shower. Oh my God, I'm looking forward to it. That is everything we got besides food, minerals, whatever. That is everything. Yes, that is everything. I'm like, was that everything? Yes, it was everything. Oh my God, we did so good. The only thing I didn't show you was Graham Sue. But again, that is in an overnight bag. I'm not taking it out. We're going to leave it there. You will see photos of them in it because obviously we have the wedding next month. So you will see photos of them in it. I'm contemplating doing a vlog tomorrow. So you might see me using some of the products and me wearing some of the products that we picked up. But I'll see how I feel. If I don't do a vlog, I'll definitely be posting on stories on my life goals. So you would have seen that if you hop on over there. But that is it for now. I'm going to end it here because we're already at 33 minutes, basically. Uh, we're at 32 and a half. So we're going to end it here. Uh, well, I'm going to end it here. Graham has been here. But I'm going to end it here. Hopefully you enjoyed. Let me know if you did. Comment section is open. I am going to be coming. I am commenting back. Waiting for all your comments to come through. So please do leave comments down below. And I will check you out there. And I will see you in the next video real soon. Bye.